Well, Jason, it feels like the World Championship was just last week, but now the, the first event of the 2019-20 season is already around the Beverly World Cup, uh, and what, what event it's going to be. Yeah, it's fantastic to be back in China, of course. Very busy season, finished at the World Championship, and by the way, we haven't stopped. We've had Q School, we have new players on tour, exciting times ahead, and of course, welcoming many new teams here at the World Cup. Yeah, snooker never sleeps these days, is it? No, we, we're a 24-hour business, as, as any global sport is. We're operating now with amateur structures in around 90 countries. Um, you know, here we've got 24 teams competing for a, for a World Cup, and these are the best in the world. So it's a very exciting week ahead of us. Yeah, this is a real kind of showcase of our international talent, but also it's a celebration of the hard work that you and Barry Hearn have been putting in, isn't it? Yes, and it's great to see. It makes us very proud every time, it's particularly when we come here to Wushi for the World Cup. Um, we stand here, we see the nations, we see the flags. But I have to say, this year, of all years, and bear in mind, this is 40 years since the original World Cup back in 1979. This year, we are completely oversubscribed for teams. You know, and I feel sorry for any of those players in those teams that didn't actually make that cut because there's a lot of talent out there, a lot of new territories we're working into. So, you know, it's not just about snooker and a few games on the table. It's really about where we are as a global sport. And it's really interesting for people watching at home, isn't it? Because you've got some really familiar faces. We saw Mark Williams and Ryan Day winning today, John Higgins, Stephen Maguire doing the same. But then there's, there's lots of new faces, at least for, 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 for some of the guys watching at home. There are, and that's what's so interesting about these events. It gives us an opportunity to showcase some of those players coming through, you know, and some what I would call highly decorated athletes. Mohammed Shihab from the United Arab Emirates, you know, probably one of the most decorated snooker players in that Asian region. A terrific player, and, you know, let's see, he actually played in the Six Reds last year, made the semi finals against some of our boys, so it's some tough talent. And Wush is a terrific host city, isn't it? Uh, we were going to do this interview outside, but I think it was too hot for your, your soup, potentially. Um, you know, it's, 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 a, it's an amazing city and, and we're blessed with the, with the weather as well this week. Yes, it is. I mean, for anybody who doesn't know, Wuxi is a, is a beautiful location in China. It's full of history, full of culture, uh, very close to the Taihu Lake, which is one of the largest inland lakes in the world. Um, it's just a beautiful environment to be in. We always get well looked after here. 2008, our first time here for a, for a snooker event. So, you know, already starting to create some snooker history here too. And it just, just finally, it's, it's a real kind of ongoing project for you, isn't it? A 24-7 project sort of breaking into new territories. Yes, you know, we'll never run out of things to do. We only run out, run out of hours to work in. You know, it'd be nice if we could get Barry to work on that eight or nine day week. It might just spare, you know, spare a few hours for this. But we're growing so fast and with so many projects. And, you know, again, untapped project this year, the All African Games. There are 54 countries in Africa. You know, not one of them is present here in this World Cup. Terrible. But actually, it's coming. We can see the standard growing. We can see new teams. We can see new players coming through. Very excited about that development this year. It's the first time ever. Well, I doubt it's going to be, Jason, but I hope it's going to be a chance for you to relax and enjoy some snooker this week. Well, there were no relaxing, but we'll certainly enjoy our week in Wushy. Thank you.